Everybody, welcome back to Game of Motor Videos. It's time to start with some race room. We're going to go to the Game of Motor Race Room DTM server 
to begin with and get some uh, get some nice laps in with some fancy DTM cars. Have, hello, everybody in chat. Greg Ortner, Speed Pulse, Rob, everyone else that's trying to see like five names. Tom, Tommy, Tom Boy. Welcome in, all you filthy regs. Let's get driving. We've got a little bit of a treat here. Not for you guys, a treat for me. <laughs> What have we got here? We've got the Fanatec shifter installed and we've got a USB cable. Oh! <laughs> the excitement is real. The excitement is real. Let's find out how good it is. I haven't even tried it yet. I literally just plugged it in. Just installed the drivers. Get ready for disaster. We'll see what happens. So the server's up. The server's called. The server's called manual zoom on the camera. The server's called gamer muscle. Password is T to join. Should just come up on the server list. We're gonna we're gonna go with the uh, Tic Tac BMW again because you know that's where it's at. That's where the excitement, the true excitement is in the Tic Tac BMW. Password T, capital letters. We'll see what happens. I'm expecting lots of mischiefs. As <laughs> we get used to a different gate on the shifter. What have you been up to? Uh, not much. Trying to get the shifter to work. Mounting it to the sim rig. It's a bit of a hefty beast. Gillum Pinta, hello. Let's get ready to rumble. Sebastian Brun is in, everyone's in. Let's get ready to DTM. I'm rather excited to find out if this shifter works. Literally plugged it in. We've not we've not tested anything. Anything could happen. Danny G, hello. Bubbinator, hello. Right, DTF, don't know what that is. PC2 rating has been reset to you. Oh, what, what happened? You, you can join us in race room though, if you've got the uh, stuff. Controller functions, this is what we've got to replace all our shifter buttons, here we go. First gear, reverse gear. <laughs> This is how fresh we are with this. Oh, it's come up in game. That's a good sign. That's always a positive. First gear. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Oh, we've got seven gears here. We're going all in. We'll have to play Euro Truck Sim at this rate. I actually want to play some Europe, American trucks. I haven't played it for a long time. Ken Block Friday. Uh, we've got the clutch here. Uh, the clutch is already set up. I think that should be it. Let's see what happens. Where's the don't let me drive! Oh, because this session's still in. Hi, Paul S. Hello, filthy regs, the Morris. Oh, you filthy regs, hello. It's all about the filthy regs. Erin Vanderboer. What are we waiting for? Look at that, beauty. That is what I call a race car. Absolute beauty. There we go, we can drive now. Right. Turn it on. <laughs> this happens. Oh. 
<laughs> Rejected. Denied. You will not pass. Let's try that again. I've not tried it yet, Paul. We're finding out. First gear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is your, de your device is not big enough. Oh, not again. Not this. Woohoohoo! Oh, straight into gear there. I'm not used to the throw on this at all. So this could prove to be interesting. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure when to expect it to go into gear. Get ready for broken gearboxes, guys. It's all right, we, we're a rich DTM driver. Hi, Mr. Muscle, you can change clutch bite point. Yeah, I, I will, we'll have, we'll have a little that soon. <laughs> like it so far. Oh, well, after 30 seconds and five gear shifts, it feels all right, actually. It feels nicer shifting in the game than it does shifting it randomly. Obviously, when I was sticking on the rig, I was just having a little fiddle with it. I was fiddling with my knob, my turgid shaft. Feels quite good, actually. Feels a lot nicer whilst driving than it does if you're just diddling it. I need to tweet my force feedback, though. Oh. Tweet the force feedback back touch. Racing is sad and without soul without VR. Well, you know, sometimes that's the sacrifice you have to make. So, if you want to join in, join this Game of Muscle server. We need to remove this device. I can't remember how we do that. Because it's not in... We've, rem we've removed the functions. We did this last time and now I've forgotten what we did. We've removed all the shifter functions. So that's done. Wonder why it's still coming up. So I sacrificed me off a great good. We'll be back in VR soon. Um, I think um, MSI said this, they're shipping a the graphics card on Monday. So if they are still doing that, that that'll be good. Oh dear. Hi Dragos, bye. Can um, anybody know Rage Room? Now we can get rid of this shifter error. With USB gamepads, missing device, but... Shouldn't be there. Shouldn't be there. Uh, no, we're going to play. We're going to play Project Cars 2, of course. We've got to do brands actually clear the cup. I'm going to be driving some H pattern cars in Project Cars 2. Don't worry. Come on. <laughs> we play for everything. I want to get the H. We, we've got to test this H pattern in everything. You know, no excuses. When are you going on eye renting? That well, we'll do some of that as well at some point. No rushing. No rushing for that. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I think maybe you just have to delete. 
Anything there where it says disconnected. Ah, there we go. That's fixed it. That was weird. We're, we've got the Fanatech, Fanatech shifter sequential 1.5. And we're reviewing it. Starting from now. Oh, therefore we'll remove it. <laughs> Come on, guys, get yourselves in this server. We've got a couple of cars in here, but we need more. It's a DTM, it's fantastic. Wish my wheel had a clutch. Oh! <laughs> this is going to be get ready for miss shifting, miss shifting the game. Getting errors trying to buy the game. Buy it. If you do buy any game content, make sure you go through the race room store by VRP and then put that in your account. All right, Jamie McGuin. We're going to be slow tonight, boys. <laughs> Hi, Copy Tanium. Clutch action going. Oh, all right, let's get the wheels on the screen as well. Hey, hang on, hang on. Here's this pedal, pedal cam sponsored by Twine. It's inbound. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. We got pedals. We got a shifter. We're good. Whoa, that was close. I mean, you can't go wrong with DTM cars, can you? Tea with whipped cream? What's that about? David John Gibbons! Hello, how are you doing? Guys, check out David John Gibbons' uh, YouTube and Twitch channel. Google him out. Type in David John Gibbons. And subscribe to that boy. Give him some biscuits. Nicest curtains in sim racing. This is a uh, Suzu, you don't know how to gear shift. This, this is broken gearbox. Whoa, dear. This is broken gearbox, the, uh, the track. We're working on uh, destroying the car. Throw me some biscuits. They better be high quality shortbread. Three months without using a shifter, and you change the shifter gate, and you can't even uh, can't even drive. Ah! Oh. We never forget to outer heel and toe. <laughs> we forget. Oh, it's a different gate on it. That would make sense. Let's tweak some force feedback settings here as well. You notice me, you ask where you're going 
Oh, it was you that asked when I was going to be back on the race. The password is T Tom Sizzish. Tango Echo Alpha. I, I, I will probably get back into iRacing at some point. It's just, uh, you know, I'm quite enjoying playing Project Cars too with, with everybody on the stream, and I'm really enjoying playing Sim Racing System. So it's like, you know, iRacing is good with VR though. So there is that. I need to try some of the newer cars in iRacing. Um, you for this track and some of the tracks we're running you would need to get the American track pack and the starter pack I think and then there might be two more tracks that you'd need but they're good tracks well not on the server but yeah do you this is about how you drive normally oh god we just lagged out into the wall there I'm going to be shifting too much, for sure. Hi, Bohad Speaks. This track's the death of me. We should have uh, gone to like a, a circuit that we're, uh, <laughs> we know, like Brands Hatch. We'll get the hang of it. Build it up slowly. Drink lots of cups of tea, have a few biscuits. You know how it is, guys. Shifter feels fantastic, though. Uh, the... Uh the spectator cameras in iRacing are a bit off. That can make you feel a bit motion sick. Vertigo. Yeah, Hugo, it's annoying how they sell uh, race room content. Hello, Ian Stirrups. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Here we go. First warm-up race. As I say, we're going to be playing race room for about 35, 40 minutes. We're going to go through a couple of tracks. It's just 10-minute races, 10-minute quali. Um, and then we'll be going to El Project Caros 2, I think. Do our, you know, our, our usual session in that. We'll go through the different content. Have some nice close racing. We've just got to get some mileage on this on this shifter to, you know, really put it through its paces. And the old shifter box here, it's so big. It's ridiculous. Hi, Chris Paynton. You could almost use it as a teacup holder. Nicely, it bolted onto the uh, the shifter mount on this rig, so that was handy. Wasn't expecting it to attach so easily. Oh, well, I've just learned that apparently you have to start in neutral and move the car into first at the start of the race in race room, otherwise it doesn't go. Great start, <laughs> fantastic start there. Thank you, race room. This is gonna be a lesson in uh, how to shift here. The last car I used a manual gear shifter with was, um, I think it was a Toyota in real life. <laughs> a little crappy road Toyota, I don't know what it was and a Honda Jazz, so uh, a slightly different feel to this. So far, so good. Whoa! Banned for rubbing knob. Oh dear. This 
drive guy, drive guy drives like Gandhi. The uh, fourth to fifth gear is really different to the SHH. It's going to take a while to get used to. I find with this shifter actually you have to um, roll the gear in more rather than uh, like push it in rather than just let it fall in. Maybe that's probably better actually to do that. Hola, hello. We're getting there. Integrating the H pattern with the brain. <laughs> I think we might have auto shifter on though, we need to fix that. Auto clutch. Which gear should we be in? No, nobody knows. I think we probably want to be four through all of that how much power this car's got to tug it up the hill. Feels great using it. I mean, it's so much better driving these cars with a H pattern. <laughs> it's just, it feels almost abusive driving these with the uh, sequential. I just, I'll turn the background music down. I don't know why it's on so loud. Don't worry about that. It's hardly, it's hardly 90s uh, DTM vibe, is it? I'm, I'm a bit low on tea and biscuits actually. I think I've got one biscuit left. I'm, I might have to uh, have a break halfway through this stream to go and buy some biscuits because we are a bit short. You never want to be short of biscuits. Yes, the cable! Hold up, this isn't Project Cars 2, this is Project Cars Race Room Racing Experience. Short shift straight second there. <laughs> the gearbox can take it. One biscuit left, getting muscles going on the tyre. That's it. No more food. Starvation mode activated. Oh yeah, rub that knob. <laughs> the, uh, the knob's quite nice on this shifter actually. You can tell this it's on a rather, you know, it's a nice firm knob on a turgid shaft. So you've got to caress that knob. The knob's got a bit of a lip on it. Here, there's a bit of a lip on the knob. <laughs> it's got a bit of a flange on the knob. Where's your shiny suit? This is a German disco, I know. I tell you what, um, Sunday is uh, Guy Fawkes night. I think I might try and put some fireworks on my sim rig. Health and safety. Uh, probably not next week. Um, I'll probably leave it a little bit longer because I really want to hammer the knob and shaft. <laughs> I really, you know, I don't like reviewing stuff until I've really put things through the paces. I 
Okay, I'll try and I'll try and use the lip on the knob to give it a good tug. You really have to yank it. You really have to yank the knob. You want to be putting a, a good amount of force on the shaft. I find. Order a pizza. I've just had a pizza. Oh dear. I've just had a mischief. There's a wall. There's a wall. I've just eaten a. Uh, just had a frozen pizza. We might have to get a kebab later. Butter up that knob. I'm still getting used to, to uh, 54th on this. So we go up through here in third gear. Or fourth. This is one thing you notice with H pattern cars. You kind of, because you obviously don't want to be changing gear like a idiot all the time you do get into a flow with the track and you you know you it forces you to actually drive the corners in the right gear rather than going crazy whereas when you've got flappy paddles you can drive in the wrong gear quite easily get that knob molested Yeah, it's the shifty. I've got the auto shift on. I need to turn it off. The shifting in race room is a bit funky, to be honest. Give it a tweak. I'm getting a feel for the knob. Yeah, you you really do have to. You really do have to uh, put your hand on the knob. Give it a good tug. You know, you really do have to put a lot of time into playing with your knob on the shaft before you really, you know, before you really comes naturally. It's grinding your gears. It's because the auto shifter, I need to turn it off. the sense and have a look at it after this race. One more lap here of gear abuse. Does feel great though actually. I'm getting there. <laughs> feel like Neo in the Matrix. Hope everyone's having a Friday, good Friday night though. Oh, it's, it's not liking me here and towing, you know. That might be what's causing the problems. We'll see. Stop abusing the tranny. <laughs> I'm, I'm abusing the tranny with my uh, with my knob on my turgid shaft. And it's not liking me here and towing. Oh, didn't like that. <laughs> it just sounds like it's been pounded on lube. Yeah, you need to make sure you've got the right amount of oil in your engine. I'm, I'm playing with my knob good and hard. Oh. Seven might be full. I oh, know because the race is in process, progress, that's why you can't join. Has anyone else um, got their hand on a on a good uh, knob? To be honest, playing with your knob is one of the main reasons why we sim race. Hello Silver K. Parking lot with corners. Poor cars are right in AC because it's got a bit of camber to it, you know. So it's not, it's not too bad. When I used to drive it in R Factor One, first of all, couldn't learn it. 
Oh dear. Yeah, I can never learn it enough. Right, well, the race room version is alright actually as well. <laughs> Tic tac. Right, let's let's sort out this. Um, I've got to fix fix the game. Turn the clutch off in game because it's a bit funky. My seat position is a bit off as well. Let's give the uh, rig a bit of an adjustment, really. I've got a bigger knob here. They've got the sequential knob. It's a nice knob close up for you guys that like that. You can tell this knob's been polished. Let's have a look here. Mr. Whitford is the winner. Greg Ortner and Bern Hebelson. Well done, guys. Oh, I came seventh, of course. Where else could I possibly come? Okay. Nice long thick knob. Oh, we do love our innuendos here. Puns. I need to turn, I've got auto shift on. Getting cheese all over the knob. No, we've. I did have a cheese scone earlier, but we might have to. I said, might have to pop to the shop in about an hour or so. Pick up some snacks. Um, options. Here we go. Oh dear. Where's the auto shift option? Control settings, I think. I can never, the, the way the, the UI is laid out in this game is crazy. So we've got auto, oh what? We've got auto transition on. There we go, auto clutch off is what we want off. Okay. No. Hi Baker. Try that. Oh, it's not let me drive again, we just gotta wait for the case next session. Exactly. I, I always have a really good choice of music. You know, you know when it comes to good music, that is, that is here. I don't think we've got any hackers on here, that's for sure. What's going on with this server? Why is it stuck in practice? Driving in the 90s. <laughs> I, I'm just using epidemic sounds, so I'm kind of limited in what I can pick. I just sort of choose genres and then have it play through them. Just 
here for the talent. <laughs> to, you need the talent at Manico GP. Why can't I even drive? It's... Got to wait for these guys to finish their lap. Frank James. Oh, I think we're ready. There we go. So this goes. I think what it is in race room is you have to you have to keep your foot on the clutch for ages I forgot about that it's just race room you have to like clutch in ages before you're actually going to shift it's got a delay on it oh, it's still shifting gear here I never really understood the gear shifting in race room why is that still working? Transmissions on manual. That's on manual. Why so muscle? <laughs> still abusing. Yeah, it's because the gear shifting in this game is ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> I have this problem with other games. I don't know what it is. Because it goes into gear, but it, it doesn't like... Um, yeah, I, ju I just turned that off, unless I didn't. The auto clutch is off. Auto clutch, manual transition, so I don't know what's going on. In the vehicle settings. Shift modes on manual. We're stuck in practice, oh no. Even if you put it in manual, it's still... Look. Oh. Okay. Right, so... Not even pushing the clutch, it still goes into gear. While it's parked. <laughs> it's a knob. Why is the car not moving? What's going on now? <laughs> What's... Oh, we can go in second gear, but not first. Okay. So I don't need to use the clutch here. It's doing damage. It's still going into gear. Advanced settings, H pattern. Come on up. There isn't advanced setting, is there? We've got options, control settings, advanced setting. Okay, hold button for gear. There we go. Thank you for that. Why is it? Why is there three separate menu pages relating to gear shifting? I mean, trolled by race room. Let's try again. Okay. It still has like a massive 
It just doesn't work in Race Room like any other simulator. It's like they've tried to simulate a clutch, or it does simulate it, but then it's actually nothing like a clutch. And it's still, that's still letting me go into gear without pushing the clutch. So I don't know what's going on there. All right, Mr. X. So why is it doing that? Do I, just have, I just have to hold the clutch down, I think, for ages. You don't have to hold the clutch down for half an hour in a real car. You can just slam it in. Yeah, I've never... This, I think that's why I had it on auto, because the gear shifting in race room is just bananas. Dog box transmission. <laughs> oh, no, not a dog box. Do I need a litter tray? Well, what am I supposed to do to make it so it actually works then? Am I supposed to have it in sequential? Am I missing something here? What am I missing? The <laughs> box is going too far. Oh, I'm being trolled by the old racy rooms. Why was it working some gears but not others? What am I doing wrong? What would educate me? I need I need to learn how to shift this DTM car. I want the tic tac power. Is it this car? Is it the game? Is it my shifting? This is a 90s pop song here. Why is it? Sometimes it doesn't care and it's totally fine. Other times. Does the game want me to hold down the clutch for half an hour? I think that's the impression I'm getting. Why, why did it do it that time? What am I doing wrong? This is harder than Elite Dangerous. Hang on, if I don't use the clutch at all, maybe it's in better. Okay, no clutch. Okay, well, that didn't sound too healthy. It doesn't like that. It likes that. What am I doing different? Someone tell me what I'm doing wrong. We'll do AC in a bit, yeah. I can't drive. I have barely any uh, gearbox damage. Oh, okay, I have a half, a half a gearbox damage, but it was doing that from the start. We'll repeat. We'll go again. Lift off when you shift. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing anyway. Other, I mean, otherwise I'm heel or towing. I don't know how to car, guys. I need to learn how to car here. We've, we've forgotten how to car. I'm trying to get used to using my knob. I'm, 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 I really am trying hard to play with my knob here. I'm struggling, I'm struggling to get the most out of my knob. I'm lifting, okay, I'm lifting. No, I've got to wait. It shouldn't, I shouldn't have to wait that long, surely, between the upshifts. Right, let's go and get past. Hi, Reggie. I'm trying to learn how to drive here. Get my muscle driving school. Being taught how to shift by race room here. Once I know what I need to do, I I'll be able to do it. I just don't know what I need to do. Oh, I've done it again. I've got to fully lift off the accelerator. And I've got to wait. <laughs> Stop using the clutch on shifts with the dog bot. What? What, what, what am I supposed to use the clutch or not? 
I'm not meant to use the clutch. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm jumping. Am I not meant to be using the clutch? We're not meant to be healing towing either. I think we're just damaging the, uh, the car. Wait, did you see Mappy not using the clutch there? Maybe I'm just shifting too high RPM or something. We will, we'll work it out. Got to fully, totally and utterly lift off, and I've got to give a good amount of time for the uh, for the clutch as well. Yeah, I think. Oh God. I think most of it is that the game has its like arbitrary clutch time that you have to have the clutch in for rather than what the physical pedal's doing. I mean, you know, in like a... I know this isn't obviously a road car, but you know in a bog standard road car, if you've got the clutch pushed all the way down or, you know, enough, your gear's going to go in. No clutch, lift off and gear. I tried that, it didn't seem to be working. We'll give it a bash. Up shifting. No clutch, just lift off. Okay. Is that right? I, sh I don't need to be using the clutch to up shift. What is this madness? I don't know how to car. Okay. Am I meant to be clutching to downshift though with this dog box? I need to do some Wikipedia in here. I don't know how to car. Okay, that's it. Right, guys. It's time for an education in motorsport. Bloody hell. Oh, dear. I'm going to look at my... I'm going to just look at a dog box for a second. <laughs> okay. Well, I just can't just stop saying dog box. <laughs> okay, crazy. Six speed dog box. Jesus, I mean the stuff you need to learn. Is it is a dog box? We'll have to do a video on bloody dog boxes now. Dog leg gearbox, here we go. A dog leg gearbox is a manual transmission shift pattern distinguished by an over up shift between first and second gear. That's just the layout. That's dog leg gearbox. That's just the layout. That's just the layout. We're talking about the dog box. Dog box. <laughs> Bloody hell. I know, no, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. We're getting dog box. Oh, no, no, I've got pictures of dog boxes coming up. I'm losing the world to live here. Guys, it's time. <laughs> This is what you get when you Google dog box, which is probably quite obvious. Well, that's a bit of a long link. I don't think that's going to work. No, it's not going to work. Petplanet.com. The race is going to start before I even know what transmission I'm driving. Dog clutch. Dog clutch. A dog clutch is a type of clutch that couples two rotating shafts <laughs> two rotating shafts or other rotating components not by friction but by inter interference. The two parts of the clutch are designed such that one will push over the other causing that both to rotate at the same speed and will never slip. Hang on. 
That's that's the dog clutch is different from the dog box. We've got a YouTube video on it here. So here we go. Oh, look at this video footage. Awesome. Oh, the bloody race is starting. I'm still trying to learn out, learn what a dog box is. <laughs> right. We'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. We're getting the hang of it. I'm going to have to do a video on this. Jesus. I thought flight simulators were bad. I've been driving bloody driving simulators for too long. I don't even know what a dog box was. I should be, I should be sacked. <laughs> what? Don't listen to me. Bloody clueless muscle. Go, go, go. Dog box off. So we don't need to use... We don't need to use the clutch. Oh. It's my day. Thank you. Give you a pintana. Why are you sending me money on your birthday? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for supporting the channel and keeping us going. And happy birthday. What are you getting? Get a fun and take sequential shifter and learn what a dog box is. That's, that's a fun thing to do. So am I meant to be am I meant to be clutching at all? In this car, could someone please confirm if I meant to use the clutch at all? The game doesn't seem to mind. Sorry. Great confusion. Can we have can we have a confirmation here? Do I need to shift? Do I need to use the clutch at all? The game doesn't seem to care. Oh no, it does. It does on the downshifts. <laughs> now we've learned. Okay. Okay, we've just, applied, we've just done a little bit of damage to the gearbox there. Just on downshifts. Oh, we've... The, the, uh, the communication between the race team was a little bit delayed there. <laughs> we get... We've, we've, it's alright. It's alright, we're getting there. <laughs> God, I love competent YouTubers. They really, uh, you know, I think it's important to have people that really understand the nuances and the details and the technical aspects of motorsport to have them introduce people. I will do Sam Carson and, I'll, and then I'll make a video on it and everyone will know what a dog box is from, from now on. I didn't know what a dog box was. I've now been educated by Race Room Racing Experience. And it's the Minty Fresh Tic Tac car, to be honest. Nothing's more, nothing's gonna educate you more than the Minty Fresh Tic Tac car. I always think it's really important to look after your gearbox. <laughs> Sounds like, that's not the gearbox guys, that's not the gearbox making that noise, that's the Tic Tac, it's part of our sponsorship because the car's filled up with, oh, touch on the downshift, we forgot there, listen to that minty fresh Tic Tac sound guys, smooth, smooth gear transmissions, that's the key to success, my, my mother always used to tell me, if you're driving a BMW in the 90s, you would say. Remember, remember son, it's probably gonna have a dog box on it. And uh, what that means is, you have to use the clutch downshifting, but upshifting, you don't. Hopefully the next track is Brands Hatch. I've now, I've now programmed into my mind the concept of a dog box and I think we're ready to take this car 
to the next level. Listen to these tic tacs, guys. We'll forget the dog box for using the tic tac clutch. Some say the, uh, they're a little bit too brittle. I say minty fresh. <laughs> Aero 94, I'm afraid the dog box has gone. <laughs> With the dog box, we were driving a dog box. Now we're driving a uh, smooth gear. That's a dog box. How many of you in chat knew what a dog box was? Come on. I'm not the only idiot here, surely. Be on. Oh no, now we're in neutral. Surely gone. Oh well, look, we've got to him out, yeah. We're nursing this at car home. Type, type one in chat if you didn't know what a dog box was. You've now had your, your mental horizons <laughs> broadened. Idiot. May not be the brightest fisherman on, in, on the boat, but you know, normally I'm catching fish. We, may, we might be using the rod the wrong way round, and we might, our boat might have a few holes in it, a couple of leaks. You know. Got all these ones. See, we, we have to make a video on this. God. Listen to that roar. <laughs> I, I really think that it's the smooth sound of the uh, the engine there that really really helps make things exciting. dog box. First of all, let's watch a video on what a dog box is. And uh, I'm going to make myself a cup of uh, coffee for the next race. <laughs> Success. Right. We've got a video here. Let's get it on the screen for you guys. Uh, window capture. You guys can't see that. Oh, that's great. First video, I've got straight cut gears. Is that the is that the right one? That's just a guy driving it. Type in dog box. 36 speed dog box, okay. We're doing this. We're making it happen, guys. Today's lesson. Today today's lesson is dog boxing. Six speed dog box. Everyone search for this video. I'll paste it in so you can all watch it with me. You can all watch it at the same time. Come here for an education. Is this the right one? Free old box from boxes. the guy using it. Oh, I see. Bloody hell, it's a good... Uh, good amount of punch to it.
I want to see the actual mechanism. It, it seems to me like it must operate somewhat like a sequential shifter, but it's only in one way. Because stop trying to rip his hair out now. Well, we know now. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is, you watch these onboard videos, guys, of people using it, and you can see their foot automatically going over as if they're like they're trying to psych out the foot from pushing the clutch on the upshift. He's like, oh, oh, oh no, no, hang on, I'm driving a dog box. No, I, mean, I was trying to be, be angry here at race room. Right. We'll go back to the pits. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I'm going to think about dog boxes and we're going to get into the next race. I can't have a view of the cars. We've got all that in mind. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I need to. Uh, I need to activate the neurons a second. So, I'm going to teabag you all. Everyone's going to get adverts from dog boxes now. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go to the next session. Fantastic. Who won that? Let's just give this a go. M. San, M. Ordo, and M. Peter. Well done, guys. Totally new people. Okay, next track. I'm just going to get myself a coffee to activate the dog, dog box brain cells. JF, in the past, Race Room had a gearbox that was basically a synchro mesh. When it came to avoid damage to the gearbox, you had to use the clutch and upshifts as well and downshifts, so or it would damage the gearbox. Most manual gearboxes in race cars are dog boxes. In a dog box, you don't use the clutch on up shifts. You simply lift the throttle for a brief moment and unload to bang it into gear. You have to make sure that you're holding on to the knob that's placed on top of a turgid shaft before you bang before you bang the car into gear. We've got it, JF. Don't worry. Don't worry, JF. We've uploaded the program in. Cup of coffee. Back in a second, guys. This is a dog box simulator 2017, the most advanced dog box simulation, probably the first dog box simulation I've ever been aware of. I, I didn't even know dog box simulators existed until today, but JF has now informed us that um, that's what we've been playing all, the, all this time. <laughs> all this time we've been dog boxing. No wonder. I was, I was getting all these bruises and cuts from boxing those dogs and I didn't even know what I was doing, but uh, we were we were indeed dog boxing. And now you know. Let's get a coffee.
Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to dog boxing with Gamer Muscle. I've got this is my last biscuit. Biscuit's a bit soft. I think in about an hour's time, an hour and a half, we will, we will have to pop to the shop because I need to buy some more biscuits. Hi, PJD. All right, who's, who's going? Someone's going off to box the dog. Good luck. Make sure you box it good and hard. JF, are you going to join the server? Was it full? Okay. Let's keep it neutral when we start the B star. Hi Simon Harper. I'm run out of milk as well, so I can't I can't not pop to the shop because otherwise, you know, I'm going to make cups of tea, so. Oh JF's on the server, nice one. How are you finding the dog boxing, JF? Downshifting, but without the effort of upshifting. What an innovation there. Look, we start racing. We got this covered. I'm telling you, I'm making a video on this old dog boxing business. I can't, I don't know about it. I've been sim racing since 2004 and I've never heard of a dog box. Two shafts rotating. Sounds, uh, sounds exciting. Bit of chew through that. I don't know, dude. We'll have to wait and see. We'll get some racing on this. It's catching me out, this old dog boxing business. I keep forgetting. We're finally finally tech shifted now, Yeah, we've got the keyboard today. It arrived early, which is awesome. First uh, time using it. And we've been rudely introduced to dog boxing, which has made things rather complicated. You might not know about dog, dog boxes, Larry B, but it's something I'm very familiar with because I'm such a uh, experienced sim racer and such a motorsport fanatic. Basically, Dog boxes are, are used in these 90s DTM cars. It's, a lot of people don't know about it because you know they're not educated and they, they really haven't paid any attention. But because I'm such a well-educated fellow and so knowledgeable on just about everything in life, um, I can tell you that indeed this car has what's known as a dog box in it. And that means that you only have to use the clutch on the downshift. It's really quite clever. So. Uh, Feel free to donate to me for that useful information that only I knew about and, you know, what a legend this game of muscle guy is.
Help your local shops out milk and biscuits. Well, I, I use red cat milk, you see. And sometimes I have to go to, to green cat milk. And then occasionally, if it's, if it's really bad, we have to go to uh, blue cat. Which is like morbid obesity milk. You have, you have like two sips and you're already you're fat. I have to say, guys, driving this car with his dog box, with a manual, with a manual shifter. Bloody hell, calm down, Bob. Uh, it does, it really does transform the driving of it. It is, it is a bit, it's a bit rude driving this car with a sequential. Talking, talking. Well, they, and they use dog boxes in lots of cars, you know. Are too fast. Oh, there's filthy JF. me off having to not clutch and then clutch on the downshift. I'm scared to do that in one go. That might sound like a braking gearbox. It, it, it might be a braking gearbox. But just, just imagine that that cracking bone sound is actually the sound of a, of a happy tic tac being masticated by an attractive man the game is too loud yeah, take that touch. there you go is that better well we didn't like that my I, I always say if you if you can't destroy the gearbox fully you might as well there we go, turn me up a bit more. You know, if you don't destroy a gearbox by the end of one race, what was the point of having a gearbox? So, that's my motto. I do heal in tow, yeah. But, I've not quite got the sensitivity right with this car. Too quiet. Let's go maximum volume then, guys. Might be able to hear some gears grinding. That's just because I'm driving on the limit. It's not, it's not because we've... Uh, totally destroyed this car Try my best. Uh, I, I like both of them. I like I like these DTM cars in this, so I don't really have a definitive preference. Depends what I'm doing. I, I like race room. I don't like dog boxes at the moment, but we're getting our heads around that.
grind a muscle. Hello, Joseph Lannister. We're getting there. We're working on it. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a race room racing experience, Mavi55. Welcome to the chat room. Hope you're doing all right. Dog box simulator 2017, as we've just found out. Sounds like we've got a cheese grater in this car. May have done a little bit of damage to it. Those of you wondering what I'm doing with my little feet, that's what those uh, bars are that are to the right of me. There's the accelerator, there's the clutch. You can see me miss shifting constantly. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let's change that. We can uh, we can redo this because now we've got this full shifter on. Where is it? Wheeler. Hi Mazda fam, welcome back. Hope you're alright. Oh dear, we need to reconfigure. Ah! Okay, well you can see the pedals and the steering wheel, but the shift is not going in. We'll have to reconfigure that in a bit. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Let's dog box it, boys. Oh yeah, dog box. Woo, dog box. Don't mess with me, I've got the dog box. Power? Okay, watch out, dog box. No dog boxing on the downs. Well, he's dog boxed into that car. Only dog box on the upshifts, guys. I think I'm having a bit of an allergic reaction to this. Oh, come on, guys. I know they've all got dog boxes, but I'm dog boxing better than everyone else. I've got my dog boxing gloves on. You can't do winkle a dog box. I can try. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe it. I didn't even know what it was. We're learning so much sim racing, it's an educational thing. Oh man, I need some biscuits. I didn't even I didn't I didn't clutch there and it worked! I just blipped it. Did we do some damage though? Oh god, these guys aren't dog boxing very well. This is so good. Love these DTM cars. Dog box. Dog box. <laughs> Doesn't get old. Dog box. I, I've got a dog box uh, with more foot off the accelerator. Otherwise, the dog box is unhappy. Heel and toe action there. Oh, look at that Mercedes. The Mercedes is actually easier to drive than the Tic Tac. Oh god, you have to take it off for so long. The mic's far too loud. It's because I'm shouting, I'm excited about my dog box. Turn it down a touch. Bloody hell. I move the microphone out of the way. Look at I'm trying to dog box and drive a DTM car. It's not time for DJ sound booth. Funky finger dancing for women in the chat. If there's some women in the chat that want to see some funky finger dancing, just hit me up. Dirt, or dirt, dirt rally or dirt forward? Uh, hi, MR. Dirt rally by a mile. Dirt four is a bit garbage, to be honest. I mean, it's not terrible. It's a game to play. 
it, it's got some basic features in there, which is quite good. I oh, just totally teabagged him, sorry. We just uh, ruined that guy's race. Um, you know, you can have a lot of fun with Dirt 4. It's just the stage generator thing is bloody awful. So the stages feel really boring after about four hours of gameplay. But Dirt Rally is just amazing. I'd... Dirt Rally is well worth the money. Sorry, sorry, Titwinkled. Oh, I totally Titwinkled him. Sorry. Total Titwinkle. Dog box Titwinkle excuse. I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry. A doofer, come on man. So we always do for with the bloody comments. I'm still dog boxing, that's my excuse. Quite it was it it was a total titwing call. But to be honest, if you're driving down the road and you see tic tacs in your rear view mirror, you'd pull over, wouldn't you? I would. Ah, oh, this is so good guys. It's bloody good these DTM cars. Say so the shifter feels great so far. I, I'm, I might give it a little bit of a twiddle, change the sensitivity. But you, you have to uh, you have to drive these cars with a shifter, don't you? Oh, this is so good. The sounds in this game are amazing as well. I feel like we're slowly getting to grips with a gearbox. We're perhaps only destroying one gearbox per, per, per race rather than three per race now. Nothing's an improvement. John Bottoms! <laughs> um, but again, both for different reasons. I'm, I'm an AC fanboy. If I think if I if I had to choose one, if I couldn't play any other simulator and I could only drive one sim on the market, I'd probably pick AC because I like its force feedback and uh, I like the, how the VR works in it and stuff, and I like the cars and the mods. But fortunately, we're not we're not in that position, so you just you just get all of them really, as long as you. I mean, maybe you wait for sales and things. That's the only because cost is the only real concern. COD versus Battlefield. Well, they're both crap now, aren't they? They're both terrible. Strangely, both COD and Battlefield used to be amazing. Um, all the old Call of Duties were really good. Codename Eagle, Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 2. Even uh, the first console battlefield, um, what was it called? You know, the, uh, was it Bat Brothers or something? I can't remember what they called them. They were actually quite good. The ladies love game and game of monsters dog box, of course they do. God, I'm gagging for a cup of tea guys. I'll do one more race after this, then I'm gonna to pop to the shop and get some biscuits, then we'll come back. <laughs> Should have thought about this before I started streaming. It didn't occur to me that I'd run out of milk. Battlefield 2 bad company, that's it Jelly D, there you go, that's the word I was looking for. Oh, we've missed that. Oh, you can drive over those tyres, that's nice. 
I mean, Bad Company was sort of the start of the downturn because it was when they basically started making the games for consoles. I can't even play the uh, modern Battlefield games. Oh, we're at half damage in the gearbox, we've still got two minutes left. Uh, I mean, the only really good shooter at the moment, I mean, Counter Strike Go is not too bad, but I've played that so much. Uh, Unreal Tournament, this bit still, you know, like the new one for the Unreal, new Unreal Engine. That's actually really fun to play, but it's not that active online. Okay. <laughs> Can't get the car back. Oh, Day of Infamy is really good. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm waiting to play that Jelly D with the VR headset. Apparently, the latest one, the new new Wolfenstein, isn't so good. But the the last three were supposed to be quite good. But I've not played them. Yeah, Rainbow Six Siege is supposed to be alright, but... There's a lot of nonsense as well. We've taken, we've knackered this gearbox again. It's alright, we'll have destroyed the gearbox by the time we get to the end of the race. A little bit of wear, never did anything wrong. I mean, look where we're positioned though. Can we hold on to this? I think we might be able to. So yeah, we, I, I'm. No, it's my seventh place. Oh, he's right next to us. C wretch. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't shift. Oh dear! Lost the plot here, guys been dog boxed to death. Oh my god. Don't worry about that. There's a warm-up race. I need to take my shirt off. <laughs> Not naked, I'm wearing two shirts, but I'm a bit, a bit overheating here. Oh dear guys. Oh dear. I think what yeah I'm gonna do one more race of this and then we're gonna have to pop to the shop to get some biscuits because uh, some biscuits and milk and then we'll be back more racing. That was a successful performance with my old dot box. Uh, the shifter feels fantastic though. I've not fiddled with the uh, strength of the resistance on it. But... Just feel nice. John Bottoms, I might do later tonight um, in bed. He looks like Angela Merkel. <laughs> what is going on? Let's fix the shifter thing here so we've got this sorted out as well. I think it's Control T. No, Control R. Ah, oh, there we go. Turn the wheel lock to lock. Turn the wheel to lock. Enter to continue. Hold the wheel at 90 degrees. Hang on, what's going on here? Press 
Press throttle pedal. Press brake pedal. Alright, this isn't working. Start again. <laughs> Start again. Turn the wheel to lock. Oh, I see what's going on here. Press the throttle. Ah, oh, I'm trying to get this to work, but it's not. I shouldn't have done this. We've caused a disaster now. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go, got it that time. Don't have a handbrake. Shift up. Shift down. There we go. This is Wheeler, by the way. This is the app we use for displaying the, uh, the gear. There we go. Don't know what's at the bottom there, we can get rid of that. In before biscuits are sold out, well, I'll just, I'll just uh, walk into the traffic at that point. Crop. There we go. That's, I'll be excited for those of you that like that kind of stuff. Get a tea bag, guys. Right. Oh, we're at Laguna Seca. Perfect. Fantastic track. That's for the shop for a doggy bag. All biscuits sold out. Imagine that revelation. That'll be the end of Britain. I <laughs> just. Just turn into Bashy Bollard. <laughs> Spontaneous. I just have a mental breakdown right there in the shop. <laughs> Here we go. Remember, no clutch needed for the upshift. God, break it a little bit sooner than that, I guess. I <laughs> know this is uh, this is not Laguna Seca. This is uh, what's it called? 
What is this track called? Bloody hell. Oh, it's got a really good circuit. <laughs> it's been raining at Laguna Seca. Hi, James Tumulty. Welcome back. Another filthy reg. Mid Ohio, that's it. It's a really good track. I really like this circuit. It's up there, actually, with some, one of my favourite tracks. Top 10, probably. Laguna Seca, Brands Hatch, Mid Ohio, Monaco. Sorry, Monaco. Do you breathe throttle? <laughs> I'm trying my best to, to work this dog box out. We're getting there. Manico is one of the top tracks of the uh, in the world. Coup de jour. We're getting there. We've, we've got, got hardly any damage to the gearbox this time. Starting to get a feel for it all. Bloody dog boxes. Smoothly does it. Oh, it feels superb. So yeah, just you've just got to lift for the upshift, and you've got to make sure you don't lift it, you don't shift it too high at RPM. That's all it is, really. You do have to uh, clutch for the downshift though, and heel and toe, ideally. to concentrate so much. So hard to drive this. It is so hard driving with a H pattern and dog boxing when you've been using flappies for a long time. That's my excuse though. We'll keep, we'll keep the excuses flowing guys, don't worry. The, the excuses flow like wine here. I'm like Jesus of sim racing the excuses. And on the fourth day, Jesus split the excuses into 4,000 excuses. Unbelievable. Some say they witnessed a true miracle on that day. Everyone knows the password. I'm downshifting too fast. We're doing alright here. I don't know how we're in... Third with our dog boxing. I'm starting to get into the flow. JF still in the server, or has he left? He's given up on the dog box, I think. Poor guy. There's only so much dog box a man can take in his life.
Oh, thanks for clicking the sub button, Alexander DS. Welcome to Game & Muscle Videos. Welcome to the channel. What a boss. This track's got such a nice flow to it. Oh, we've been relegated to 30. Not having any of that. We're going to dog box K Little. I'm going to short shift into second up here. See how it works. That kind of worked. Dog box. Thanks for subscribing, Connor Healer. Welcome. Connor Hale. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. You're now crowned a filthy muscle boy reg. Or you will be. Give it a couple of days. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't need to <laughs> up shift. Up clutch. It totally throws me off. It's like trying to tie your shoelaces with your teeth. Yeah, we're dog boxing. Don't you know what a dog box is? God, are you a noob? How can you sim race for years and not know what a dog box is? I mean, God, but some people, unbelievable, they're just so lacking in knowledge of, of such common information. On dog boxing, Robert, Robert Orangi, bloody hell, what is that? <laughs> Robert, Robert Orangu, <laughs> Robert Orangu, Orangutan, and now he regrets clicking the sponsor button. Thank you for sponsoring, man. Really, that's bloody awesome, dude. You're a legend. Thank you. That's 27, 27 sponsors. Cheers, man. Welcome, welcome to the Super Clan. Next level commitment. Over the top filthy reg. Double filthy reg. Hi, can I have a uh, filthy reg with large fries, please? I'm Robert Urangu. Urangu. <laughs> That's such a good name. It reminds me of shooting stars. It gets your name wrong on purpose. Look here. Never underestimate the power of dyslexia. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, I'm trying to dog box the Tic Tac BMW whilst reading people's crazy names. It's hard, it's hard here. 27, 27 people funding an, un, an unhealthy lifestyle. Good on them. That's a shortcut. Ah, uh, Bern Hebelson's beating us now. I bet he's not dog boxing. Short shift that mother. Ha! Oh! Woo! 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 Oh! Well, at least we got to complete a drift. That was arousing. We slid all of that corner after that short shift. Not the fastest way, but I dog boxed it. Get ready for the race, guys. I'm pumped now. Still need to get my biscuits now. Oh, thank, thank you for sponsoring. That's like just incredible. Um. Let me add this on here. What are we on? 27. 27 mental people. Good job. <laughs> and uh, let's add a dog box. No! We've got ready up. Oh, God! Okay, forget that. <laughs> we managed to update the sponsor list. We didn't manage to put dog box on the screen. Let's see how this goes. Burn Hebelson in front of us. Look at that car skin. 
crazy. Straight into second there, short shift. That's the perfect, I think second gear is perfect for that corner. Goodbye, Burns. Whoa. Does sound amazing. Hi, Harry Moore. I can't read your message right now. One second. Hope you're good. Also, are you going to be doing a very... Yeah, we'll do Project Cars 2 later. We're... I just, I just love race room. It doesn't get enough attention, so I want to sort of stream it more. Uh, especially these DTM cars. We've got a 35-man server, so it's good for people to join. And um, every now and again, we give out keys for race room as well. So, you know, it's just nice to have it on the list. I mean, just look at this driving. This is bloody mental. We're dog boxing all the way. Uh, unfortunately, race room is the only. It's the only sim with a tic tac in it. <laughs> look at these guys. This is pure 90s DTM racecraft going on right there. Oh dear God. D Watt in first, D Glass in second, and then Orido or in, in third. Oh dear, we're, I'm forgetting to clutch on the downshift, which is we've almost lost half our gearbox on the end of lap one. that corner you're not supposed to take it like that uh, dog boxing for those of you that don't know and are, and are lacking in pretty obvious knowledge things that I've known forever is a, it's a type of gearbox where you only have to use the clutch on the downshifts I'm gonna do a video on it <laughs> because I didn't know about it until about 40 minutes ago and I was wondering why I couldn't get the shifter to work in this game D Glass sideways there, M Oreo, they're smashing into each other like two deranged psychopaths. Look at the angles they're getting and recovering from though. That's what's nice with these vehicles. They allow you to absolutely drive like a lunatic. But of course, like all cars, the smoother you are, the faster you go. Oh dear. We just had a Mercedes in the back tide there. Well, there he is. <laughs> oh, my God. D-glass. We've just been D-glassed there at the inside. This is fu... I can't swear. This is amazing. <laughs> Got to keep the language. Got to keep the language. You're not allowed to say those words. Censored words. Too offensive. It's all right, guys. We can have films about killing people. But we can't say certain words. Keep that in mind. Oh! Where is he? Where's he gone? I don't know where he is. Oh! We're only halfway through this race. I've got indeed. Oh no! Sit winkled. Oh, we're totally knackered the gearbox there. Sorry, we the track. I think we got smashed there. Now done. <laughs> Irreparable damage to our gearbox. We're still learning how to dog box, to put it to put it mildly. We've not quite got the dog boxing down. I did. I did. It, well, it wasn't his fault. I think it was more, it was a combination of me turning in on him and the net code and my, yeah, it was a mixture of things. I, I'm not bitter about it, <laughs> I'll put it that way. I was to blame as much as anyone there. <laughs> you turned in on him, sad. guys, you're supposed to be supporting me. You're supposed to be going, God, game of muscle. You are the best driver and you never make mistakes. You're meant to ignore all the facts. Like when those rabid, uh, Formula One fans, I mean, what, I, 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 you know, I expect you guys to back me up, come what may. I may have 
I may have just stuck the knife into his chest and caused him to die, but you, you know, he fell on the knife. We have to remain, remain polite whilst destroying the world. Exactly. Exactly. We're back in seventh, by the way, which is my sponsored position. Seventh place, sponsored by Simitek K2 Cockpits. <laughs> right, well, we're doing that. Maybe uh, Simgear can uh, Simgear can sponsor seventh place. We'll sponsor our race positions. T Shizush. Uh, TTC, we're looking at doing a review of their new sim rig soon. So, uh, and we're looking to do a sort of sponsorship with Simitech as well. So, we will do an updated review. But this is the f this rig's two years old, and you know I've been using it with a direct drive wheel. I've been hammering it, and now I've got this bloody huge shifter on it, and it's actually it's really good. Still going, still works fine. So K2 cockpits for the win. If you're on a budget and you want something that's adjustable, bloody hell, K2 cockpit. I said to them they they don't really need to sponsor me because I always say I'm always like K2 cockpit. I'm a total K2 cockpit fanboy, but they are good. I hope so, Marco. Working on it. We've totally knackered this gearbox. Don't worry about it, though. <laughs> Listen to the grind. Look at this Audi in front of me. So the damage is quite nicely done, you know. It's it's quite progressive. It's not. It doesn't just destroy the racing. Oof. Sixth place. Thank you. Uh, Dennis Johnson, we're using a dog box. You only use the clutch on the downshift. <laughs> oh, this is going to be constant. This is going to be constant. I'm going to have to put a video out on it. Don't worry, Dennis, I only knew about it. I only knew about it about an hour ago, so don't worry about it. We're all learning about dog boxes today. Today's stream is brought to you by the word dog box. Whoops. <laughs> Dog box, wow. 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 <laughs> wow. I don't know why that's funny, but it is. You do have to lift off the accelerator when you go up gear, though, otherwise it, it's not happy. That's about it, really. Uh, no, this is 90 ZTM. All you need is the starter pack, which is like five quid. Get a VRP from the race room store rather than through Steam and get the starter pack, the American track pack, and uh, that gets you a, a ton of cars. Ton of cars. I'm going to do a separate video on this. We'll do, we'll do a video on dog boxes and I need, need to do a video on what race room content people should buy if they want a good time without spending a lot of money. Because like, I think what we're racing now would literally cost about 12 quid and you get the equivalent amount of content that you get in most full on titles. It's just that it's a bloody pain in the arse how they decided to sell it all and it's not exactly transparent. So we'll have to sort that out. Race room should uh, should give me a commission. <laughs> Dog box. Uh, you can. 
But you see, if I use the clutch on the upshift and I put and I put the accelerator down too soon, it causes the engine to over over rev. So it's not really helpful. We'll try and take this place back. <laughs> Look at the car moving around. Ah, oh, we'll have that position back. Gearbox doesn't want it. But I do. Ha ha ha! I did quattro! Can we take him on the last corner? Not if we take this line. Ha <laughs> ha! So good! May have destroyed another gearbox. It's okay, we're dog boxing it all the way. Oh, that is so good, guys. This shift is actually fantastic. <laughs> I was, I was sceptical at first, plugging it in, but it does feel great. We've got the uh, Fanatec, new Fanatec shifter here. Doing the job. Dog boxing away. Look at the knob on that turgid shaft. So that's all right. It's pretty cool. It's nice on the rig as well. We've got it sort of next to the uh, next to the button box. And then we've got our logo on the steering wheel. These are all important features. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. Oh, man. I can't believe Robert sponsored us there as well. But the night is young and we've had uh, Robert and Goro. Hello, Robert and Goro. <laughs> Sponsoring us. I'm going to... Um, Guys, I'm going to pop to the shop and get some biscuits so we can keep going till later. And we'll get some milk and biscuits. So what we'll do... I'm actually sweating here. Well done, One Peter M Audio as well. Oh, I'm going to teabag you all first. My privilege. Free teabags. Hold your breath, guys. Here come a tea. Here comes a teabag. We'll let that teabag get distributed. DM Google short shifting. I was uh, I was short shifting for one of those corners. Was it you that did the killed you with the wheel? Uh, it was, yes. That was our first. That was our first successful YouTube video, which made me think, oh, I could actually do YouTube. You can be a dirty rag, Dennis Johnson. Don't worry, you, you're a filthy dirty rag now. Um. Little in third there. Well, <laughs> I just said the wise guys were in the chat room. I was in my own little zone. I forgot I was actually the person streaming. I felt like I was just taking part in the chat room there. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I was like, oh, well, it's a game of muscle. Um, give me some benefits of the Fantex Shifter versus others. Um, I don't know. I guess it's solid. <laughs> um, and you can go from. You can do the sequential thing. That's the biggest one, really. Because it's ultimately. With the shifters, it's between the Fanatec shifter and the um, um, TH8A. Um, the only, the really big difference is that you can just switch between sequential and uh, H pattern with this one really fast. I guess you can adjust the rigidity, like the actual strength of the shift, and it does feel a little bit more sturdy this one than the TH8A. I would say if you don't if you don't care for having the ability to quickly switch to sequential, which obviously gives you the advantage of driving sequential, but also the advantage of um, quickly, um, if you wanted like a handbrake, you can set obviously as a binary handbrake on the fly. But if you don't care about that, maybe you've got a separate handbrake or separate separate sequential. I would I'd probably say save the money and get TH8 a TH8A, give or take. But. I, because this is a hundred. Once you add in the USB dongle, this is two hundred and twenty or something, which is a lot of money for a shifter. But the TH8 is what one hundred and thirty. So yeah, I'd say I'd say on balance, if you don't care about being able to do sequ sequential mode quickly, I'd just go for the TH8 because the TH8 feels really good um, and works fine. But 
if you really care about having the sequential shifter or you, you want to be able to set it up so it's quite stiff, then this is better at doing that. The TH-88 doesn't, when, when you set up stiff the TH-88, it just makes it dampened. The stiffness on this makes it feel like you're pushing more over a bump. Uh, the shift throws, you, with the TH-88, you can get different button pla uh, different plates to adjust the throw on it. It uses a, um, a hall effect sensor rather than um, buttons. I don't know if, what this uses. Uh, this might use a hall effect as well, actually. Or potentiometer. I don't know how it works out. But... Yeah, that, I mean, that's the thing. Part of it's going to come down to the feel aspect of it. Both I would have thought about the same amount of durability, you know. I think both would last about the same amount of time. Um, maybe it's easier to service the TH-88, but there's a problem with the TH-88 where the bottom cable, if you if that's loose, that wears down. It swings the roundabouts, really. So, I'd, I'd say... I'd say Obviously, it's more cost-effective to get the TH-88. I don't think the basic cost of this is justified over the TH-88, but this does feel nicer, looks more solid, and it's got the sequential mode. So, you know, you sort of get into diminishing returns, don't you, when you start... You're paying ridiculous money for shifters in the first place, so... That's about as... I'm trying to be as honest as possible. Um, but, I mean... What's annoyingly, I've got the SH8 shifter, which which I broke. It was a prototype one, so it's not it's not necess necessarily indicative of their SH8 shifters. They've changed the design like five times now. But unfortunately, the SH8 shifter, um, the price of it has gone up. It used to be you could get the SH8 for for like eighty quid, including postage, and it's like well, at eighty quid, you you know you just get that because it does the shifter and the h pan it's like sure it doesn't feel amazing but it does it does it it does the options so but the price of that's gone up there are one i'd say one big advantage of the th8 actually is that you can go into argos if you're in the uk or like curries or something you can pick it up and try it and then take it back if you don't like it that is a huge advantage so it's probably worth doing that first if you don't like it then look at getting the fanatec one Sounds like it has too many hours in it. Hi, Yorkie. We're just going to go and get some biscuits. So I'm, I'm going to... Um, I'm just talking about shifters here. I don't know. We, we've lost the plot. Dog dog boxes. I'm going to... Uh, st I'll, I'll stop the stream here for like... Um, what? Well, I, I think it'll probably take me like half an hour because the shop's a, a good like mile walk. So I will see you guys in about half an hour. And I'll get some biscuits. I'll try, I'll try and get some chocolate to celebrate Yorkies. Maybe bloody hunger again. He would come in just before going to the shop. Uh, Hugo, 1080 Ti, MSI 1080 Ti, which would be nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back in a minute, guys. Um, my minute, 30 minutes. I think I'll end the stream, otherwise you guys will be staring at this screen. <laughs> you would just be staring at that. So, uh, well, let's put the credits on for, the, for this stream, and then we'll, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back in a bit, guys. Thanks for those of you that have come along right now and have been watching. Thank you so much. Thank you for sponsoring Robert. I'll see you guys in uh, 30 minutes or so. Let's let's credit ourselves over, and we'll be we'll be back for some Super Friday night driving. Mm -hmm. 